everyone. So for today's video, I will show you a tutorial on how to make 5 easy creative mirror effects on your Premiere Pro without having to download presets or effects because you have it already on your Premiere Pro software. So if you want to know how to add mirror effects on your videos in an easiest way, so just keep on watching. So right here you can see my empty window. So I'm going to add my video which I'm going to edit and show you my tutorial. So all we need to do is to import the video to our Premiere Pro software. Right now you can see I have the video already imported on my Premiere Pro and I will just drag it here in my timeline. So as you can see it's a full video of a same day edit wedding. So I'm just going to cut the video which I'm going to use to show the tutorial to you. So I will cut it here. From here I will cut it. This is the bride and I'm just going to cut her video from here and to here. I'm just going to cut it here and then delete the other remaining video because I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to ripple delete it and because I will just use the video, so what I'm going to do is delete the audio below. And then from the video, I will just speed this down to 40%. Right here in our scale, we just need to adjust the scale to 120. And then, because I want to add a mirror effect, so I will just add another video on the layer above and... Just click Alt to add the video, to copy the video, and then adjust the scale to 100. The scale of the video below is 120 and the scale of the video above is 100. So what I'm going to do is to go here in our effects and search for the crop. You can see the crop in the transform folder on your effects. So I will just drag it to our video and apply it and then in our effects control let's scroll down to go to our crop right here on our crop just mark the keyframe on the right and then on the left we just uh, adjust the keyframe to 71 percent and then we move the ruler on the middle of the video and then adjust again the left keyframe to 0% and the right keyframe is 70% so if we play it it smoothly add the mirror effects and it stop in the middle so what we're going to do is to reverse the mirror slide effects on the right side so what we're going to do is to adjust is to adjust the right crop in 0% and the left crop is 68% so on the last part of the video on the last part of the video i will just adjust the left again to 100 percent so if we play it it's smoothly uh, sliding to the left and going to the right slowly so i'll just widen the screen and play it again so as you can see it's smoothly uh, sliding on the left and then going to the right and then disappear so that's just it so you can add these effects also on your video so it's it's a sliding reverse mirror effects that you can also apply to your videos which is so easy and i'm just using a crop on the effects so the next thing again we will use a crop and again apply it to our video so i will just cut the crop here to create another mirror effect and then search for the crop again on our effects so the second mirror effects is the center mirror effect that i'm going to show you so i will be searching again the crop on our effects and then drag it again to our video and then on the effects control we will scroll down and search the crop and then mark the left keyframe here and then the right keyframe here so I will go to the center and then mark again 50% on the left and the right is 
So you can see, it is slowly adding a mirror on the center. So if you play it, so it is smoothly adding a mirror effects on the center of the video, just like this. So I will just widen the screen and play it again. So if I want to reverse the mirror effects, I will just uh, move my ruler here and then and then adjust the left keyframe to 0% and then the right is 0% and then if I play it, it is slowly reversing the mirror effects. So you can see that it automatically reversing the mirror effects from the center. So what I'm going to do is if I want to pose the reverse of the mirror effect. So I will just go here on my keyframe and then copy the keyframe here. So it will pose the reverse mirror effect and then wiping out again here. So, if you want to post the mirror effects on the center, so just add a keyframe. Just copy a keyframe and then apply it. So, as you can see, it will slowly post here. And then, from here, it's opening again. Just like that. So it's a smooth mirror effects that you can add. But if you don't want to post the video and just uh, apply the mirror effects automatically, it will reverse the mirror effects on your videos. So if I play it, it goes like this. You can decide if you want to post the video or you want to automatically reverse the mirror effect from the center and then out. So that's it. Wiping out again the mirror. So that's the center mirror effect that you can add on your video if you want to uh, add the mirror effects on the center or if you want to add a sliding mirror so you can choose to you can choose from the sliding mirror or the center mirror that you want to add. So on my next effects I will just cut this crop here and then we will search for vertical flip. And then apply it to our video, upper video, and then uh, the rotation. We need to adjust the rotation to 180. And then search for linear wipe on our effects, which is also located in the transform folder. So let's drag it in our upper video. So you can see it marks red. So all we need to do is to render it. And we go to our effects control and then adjust the transition to 50%. And then the wipe angle is 71%. Uh, and then the feeder, you can also adjust it and make it smooth. So you can see it turns red again. So all we need to do is to render it again. And then after rendering it, uh, I will just widen the screen and then play it. It's a smooth uh, mirror effects that you can use on your videos and I'm just using a linear wipe which is already on the effects on the transition folder. So you can also apply it so it's easy and you can use it. Just follow the step. It's so easy to apply on your videos. So the next thing is, so I will be deleting this vertical here, cut it and the rotation I will turn it turning it to zero percent I will cut the linear wipe here and then search for we will be using film dissolve so I will just adjust the upper video here and I will just cut the upper video here and search for vertical flip and then the rotation I will make it 180 again so all we need to do is to add the film dissolve so it will smoothly change the video to our lower video so if I widen the screen and play it so it will look like this it's like a shadow 
mirror effects that you can add also on your video so you can use the film dissolve which is already on your premiere pro so the last effects that i'm going to show you is again the linear wipe we will be using the linear wipe so so i will clear the film dissolve and again adjust the upper video and then search for linear wipe and then drag it again to our upper video and then go to our effects control and then mark the transition here and then from the wipe angle we will just adjust it to 53 adjust it to 53 and then mark the keyframe on our wipe angle here and then in the center we will just adjust the transition to 98 percent so it will slowly fading the upper video to the lower video and then adjust the feather to 50 percent so we need to render it so we can uh, smoothly play it so after rendering it we will play it and then widen the screen again and then play it so as you can see it is smoothly changing the video from the upper video to the lower video so it's so easy so you just need to use the linear wipe again and it's located on the effects on the transition folder and actually this uh, mirror effects this is the effects that i'm usually using when i'm editing wedding or the booth or any occasions which i'm doing a same day edit you can also apply it on your videos if you want to use it so it's so pretty and cool that's why i'm using this mirror effects on my videos so that's it everyone i hope that you've learned from my tutorial and also apply it on your videos if you want to use these effects just follow the steps and the guides that i've shown you it's the easiest mirror effects that you can also apply to your videos without having to download presets or effects because you have it already on your premiere pro software so i hope that you've learned from my tutorial today if you like this video just click the like button and also support my channel because i will be doing a lot of easy tutorials so thank you so much everyone